guys, welcome back to the Tommy Girl. So today I'm filming for you guys another DIY transformation rework, however you want to call it. So this one um, I got inspired because I was looking through my mom old clothes and I came upon this two-piece vintage guest set and it was like a long skirt with this blazer. I reworked the set into this set that I'm gonna show you guys and I I really really like it now so yeah I hope you guys are gonna like it thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and obviously click on the bell button if you want to get notified every time I upload a video so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys at the end so for this project I'm only gonna be working with a skirt so here I'm just choosing a length and marking down a straight line to wherever I have to cut. So obviously to check if the line is straight, I'm just using this measuring tape just to check that the length is equal all around the skirt. So now I'm just carefully cutting the skirt. So the first part of this video is going to be concentrated on the top. So I'm using the bottom of the skirt to make the top. And since my skirt came into two layers and the layer under was silk, I still decided to use it as um, my like a double layer for my top. So here I'm laying out just like some scratch paper where I can draw my pattern. And I'm using this very structured dress that I have and it has like a nice shape for a bustier so I'm gonna use that as my template so here I'm just drawing out like the side so we're gonna need two of them but I'm just gonna be drawing it once and here I did draw it a bit too short so just make sure to make it long enough that it goes like it connects in your back And then I'm going to be drawing the middle part. And since my dress had like a heart shape, I did not want that heart shape. So I just like made it a bit curved. So here I'm using a measuring tape to mark down a half of an inch seam allowance and I'm just doing that all around the two pieces. Now I'm cutting out my templates. Okay, so here I'm just separating the silk from the fabric. So now I'm pinning down my template just to be sure that when I like draw it, it doesn't move. And I figured out like a way to position them so that there's enough space to cut out all of the pieces. So I'm doing two of the sides and one of the front. And I'm just cutting out the fabric. Oh, also it's very important to use like different scissors when you cut fabric and when you cut paper because if you use fabric scissors to cut paper, it's going to ruin the scissors. So here I'm showing you guys that I cut those three pieces in the normal fabric and also in the silk because I'm going to be doing like a double layer. So sewing this together is like you have to put them right sides together and you're going to be sewing the left side with the left of the front side and the right side with the right of the front side. 
I hope it makes sense. It's kind of hard to like explain. So yeah, I'm just showing you guys again how I did it. When it's sewn all together, you open it and it should look like this. I did do the same thing for the silk fabric. And now I'm sewing the two pieces right sides together. And I'm only sewing, well actually you can sew the top and the bottom. And then you leave the two sides open so you can loop it through, a loop it inside out, and you're gonna, and you're gonna see like your bustie coming together. So I'm just using like an iron just to like make everything like stay together. So yeah, I'm just showing you guys um, that I'm sewing the bottom now, and then after it's sewn you flip it inside out okay. so here i determine how long i want the sides to be and i've found this length so i'm tucking in all the piece that i don't need like all the extra piece until the length that i want and then i'm just gonna iron it down and pin it and sew it so I'm doing that for both of the sides and this is just going to create a really clean cut and it's going to be easy to apply the zipper rather than just cutting and then like folding it. Okay so here is my zipper so it's very important to find a zipper that can be separated in two because if you don't find that, you're never going to fit into your bustier. So mine is separable in two. I'm just not showing it right now. But like it can like separate in two. And I'm just simply pitting the zipper as close as I can to the side of my bustier. So... Yeah, okay, and also since my zipper was too long, I wanted to shorten it, but you have to add like um, a lock so like the zipper thing doesn't like slide out. So I'm just like sewing over and over again, creating loops at the same spot so then the zipper can't get out. Okay, so for this, for the skirt, it's very simple. I'm just cutting a slit and just hemming like the raw edge. And then you can add like a straight stitch um, at like the top of the pyramid, the triangle. And yeah, it's just going to secure your skirt. Okay, so we're done and here's the final look. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you at the end. Hey guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I had a lot of fun making the bustier because I've never really done anything like that. and. I got inspired by OM Weekend because I really want to buy one of their set but it's mad expensive so I've decided to make one of my own and I really like it and I'm surely gonna wear this out like for events and stuff so yeah I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys next week bye